वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री डैश सेवनटीन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर थ्री मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मटेरियल्स एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आरसी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज अटेंशन टेस्ट वाज परफॉर्म ऑन ए मैग्नीशियम एलॉय स्पेसिमन हैविंग अ डायमीटर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंच एंड गेज लेंथ टू इंच द रिजल्टिंग स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम इज शोन इन फिगर डिटरमाइन द अप्रोक्सीमेट मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी and the yield strength of the alloy using 0.2% strain offset method so you can see this is a stress strain diagram for magnesium alloy initial diameter was 0.5 inch and the gauge length is 2 inch so gauge length is the length over which we perform this tensile uh, test okay so this is the resultant stress strain diagram so you have to find the modulus of elasticity and then using 2.2 per percent strain offset method you have to determine the yield strength so let's start with the solution so what we will do is that we will first find modulus of elasticity and this modulus of elasticity e can be find can be find by using this uh, stress strain curve so you can see this is the proportional limit or elastic limit so the slope of this curve will give you the uh, uh, slope of this curve will give you the modulus of elasticity so e will be equal to here you can see if we, i take this point so at this point you have stress which is equal to 13 ksi and the strain will be 0.02 so i will take uh 13 if you take the stress so 13 minus if you this 0 will be equal to this strain 0.002 minus original strain which is again 0 this will give you the modulus of elasticity so you will get 13 divided by 0.002 and you will get this modulus of elasticity e approximate will be equal to 6.50 into 10 to the power 3 ksi so this is how we can find the modulus of elasticity using stress strain curve now we'll move towards second part and second part states that to find the yield strength yield strength so how you will find this yield strength it is given 0.2 percent strain clear so 0.2 percent strain is actually 0.2 divided by 100 and that is equal to 0.002 strain so at 0.2 strain what we are going to do is that we will draw a line that is parallel to initial line this stress strain curve line this line you can see this we will draw parallel line and i will write the remaining thing the intersection point between stress strain stress strain diagram and the straight line drawn parallel to the initial to the initial portion of stress strain diagram from offset strain of 0.002 inch per inch is the yield strength 
of the alloy. So you can see that this is the original stress strain diagram line and this is when stress strain line when you take 0 0.02 0 0.002 offset so this is the intersection point now at this intersection point if i proceed it to the horizontal horizontally and it will cross this vertical line so this point will give you the yield strength this is what i mean so you can see yield strength will be equal to let me take this line so this will be approximately equal to 25.9 ksi so yield strength will be equal to 25.9 ksi and this is the answer of our second part so this is yield strength sigma y clear and uh, that was all about this problem 3-17 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also share my videos among your friends and help me in growing my channel further if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching welcome back in this video we are going to solve problem 3-13 that is taken from chapter number 3 mechanical properties of material and the book name is mechanics of material by rc hebler so statement is a bar having length of 5 inch and cross sectional area of 0 0.7 square inch is subjected to an axial force of 8000 pound. If bar stretches 0 0.02 inch determine the modulus of elasticity of the material. The material has linear elastic behavior. So you can see this is the bar having 5 inch length clear and there, there is an axial load of 8000 pound and due to this load it stretches means change in length will be 0 0.002 so you have to determine the modulus of elasticity first we will write the given data bar length is 5 inch cross sectional area is 0 0.7 axial force is 8000 pound and the change in length or bar stretch is 0 0.002 inch the material behave elastically clear and we have to determine the modulus of elasticity so let's start with the solution so as we know that modulus of elasticity which is equal to e elasticity which is equal to e and that e is equal to stress divided by strain so we do not know stress and strain so first we will define or we will determine stress so stress here is equal to axial load divided by the area over which it acts so axial load is 8000 pound so i will write 8000 pounds and area is 0 0.7 inch square inch so when you divide it so you will get 11.43 into 10 to power 3 pounds per square inch or in term of ksi it will be 11.43 ksi ksi is kilo pound per square inch so you will get 11.43 ksi now what we will do is that in second step we are going to find strain and you know that strain is equal to change in length divided by original original length let me write original length l so change in length or stretch is given as 0 0.002 inch 0 0.002 inch and original length of this bar is 5 inch so inch divided by inch and you will get 0 0.000 four double zero and it will be inch by inch or unitless because they will cut each other 
now modulus of elasticity e will be equal to stress over strain so you have both the value stress is 11.43 ksi and strain is 0 0.00400 inch per inch so you will get the value of modulus of elasticity will be 28.6 into 10 raised to power 3 ksi which is the answer of our this question so this is the modulus of elasticity for the given load and the cross-sectional area for the material and that was all about this problem 3-13 i hope you have enjoyed this this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos also share my videos with your friends and help me in growing my channel further if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting me